Hello everyone. This tutorial will cover keyword searching in Academic Search Premier. Academic Search Premier is a large general topics database that should have information on most everyone's topics. At this point in the research process, you should have a well-focused research question. Don't worry about having a thesis statement at this point in the research process. That will come as you explore the different points of view on your topic. Today I will be working with the topic, Should Police Officers Administer Narcan at the Scene of Drug Overdoses? I've already brainstormed some keywords and phrases, but should keep an eye out for more words as I search. Some of my keywords include Narcan, Police Officers, Narcan Distribution, Drug Overdose, Opioids, and Heroin. First, let me give you a tour of the Academic Search Premier interface. You'll be putting your keywords in the boxes up here at the top of the screen. You don't need to use all the boxes. If you do have a lot of keywords, you can hit the plus sign and add another box, but I'm guessing most people will have two or three keywords or phrases to put in. If you scroll down the screen a bit, you'll see under Limit Your Results the option to check Full Text. What this will do is eliminate any articles that the library doesn't have in their entirety. I'm going to leave this unchecked for now so I can show you what it looks like when uh, we don't have the full text of an article. There are many other limiters as you scroll down the page. Don't worry about these for now. I'm going to start with a fairly broad search, putting Narcan in the top box and police officers in the second box. What this will do is look for articles that mention Narcan and police officers. Naxalone is the generic name for Narcan, which is the drug that is administered to uh, opioid overdoses. Looking at our search results, it looks like using that generic name is probably the way to go, but we did get plenty of results using the brand name Narcan, so let me show you what we're looking at. The title of your article is in blue. This is from an academic journal, so it's scholarly in nature. Below the article is an abstract. This is a summary of what the article is about, and you can see that the database recognized that uh, Narcan and Naxalone are the same thing. So I have the term Naxalone highlighted throughout my abstract. To view the article, click on either HTML or PDF full text. Sometimes you'll have an option. Uh, it doesn't really matter which one you pick. It's personal preference. PDF will have the page numbers for your citations and will be an exact scan of the article. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Don't be intimidated if you pull up a scientific study like this. When you know something is a scientific study if it has an introduction, methods, and goes through the scientific method. What you want to do is find the discussion and look at the results of the study. Over on the right hand toolbar, this is where you'll find your citation, okay, where my cursor is pointing right now. It looks like a little sheet of paper that will open up your choices of citation styles and you can go choose the MLA. Back on my search results page, I want to point out a couple of other things. As you're searching, pay attention to your subjects. This is somewhere where you'll get more ideas that you can jot down for possible keywords. Okay, so looking at the keywords here, therapeutic use, substance abuse, these are all keywords and phrases that I might want to jot down and use as I revise my search. 
Also, as I'm looking through my search results, keep in mind, uh, you should be doing your research with an open mind so you don't have your thesis statement yet. You may not even know what the uh, point and counterpoint for your argument may be. So read through the titles and the, the abstracts of the articles to get some ideas of what the arguments are. The second article uh, is discussing police officers and NACs alone. Saving lives with taxpayer dollars requires oversight. So this is a potential counterpoint to uh, the argument that police officers should administer Narcan on site. Uh, the counterpoint could be uh, should taxpayers be paying to uh, save drug addicts. Over on the far left hand side are more ways to refine your results. You have the um, the option to limit to full text, scholarly journals, you can limit by publication date, and this is a fairly new topic, so we only have articles going back to 2012, uh, so that should be fine, but you can change the publication date if you need to. Types of sources, and you can see more if you click on show more. And there's another a number of other limiters down here that we're not going to worry about. Earlier in the tutorial, I mentioned limiting to full text and what it might look like if the library doesn't have the entire article. Uh, number three is an example of that. If we don't have the full text, there will be a link that says search other databases for full text. To check and see if we have it, you will click on that link and this is what the screen will look like if we do not have the article. In most cases, the library will have plenty of articles for any given topic, but if uh, there is an article that you would like to request, you can click on Request Item. That will pull up an interlibrary loan form, which you will fill out um, as well as you can, submit it, and uh, we will email you the article after we borrow it from another library. As you're searching, remember that research is a process. You will not find everything you need in one search. Uh, part of doing a research paper is exploring a wide variety of anal analysis that helps you answer your research question. If you get hung up at any point, please feel free to contact me. Uh, I'm in your NS online class list as nscc.librarian. Good luck.